Hi guys, my name is Jansen and Silo from Basic Training. So, ngayon, pumunta doon tayo sa Laod ng Dagat para mag-dokumentary sa isda na tinatawag na Florida Pampa. So guys, samahan nyo ako pumunta sa Laod ng Dagat. Tara! Guys, and dito na tayo sa dagat kung saan tayo maggagawa ng documentary. So, doon tayo sa lao ng dagat kasi marami doon ang mga isda na Florida pa pa. So, ito ito yung sasakyan natin na bangka papunta ng laod. So, tara guys, samahan niyo ko. Florida Pompano. The scientific name of Pompano is Trachinotus blochi. Pompano is also known as Asian Pompano. A medium size of Pompano fish is 50 cm in length and a weight of 3.4 kg. Pompano found singly or in a small school over very shallow, clear water, mud and sand shorelines of bays, estuaries and seawards, coral and rocky reefs. They feed on hard shell, invertebrates, and sand mollusks. Juveniles found patrolling in small schools along mud and sandy beach in shallow waters. They can tolerate wide range of salinities from 0 ppt to 65 ppt. The species prefers warm tropical waters with a tolerance from 25 to 29 degrees Celsius. They can be successfully farmed in ponds, tanks, and floating sea cage. This species is broadly distributed throughout the Indian, Western, and Central Pacific Ocean. Spawning will occur generally within 36 to 48 hours after hormone injection. The spawning takes place normally between late night and early morning hours. The number of eggs takes place from 18 to 24 hours after fertilization. Once fertilized, eggs are buoyant and transparent. Among the many high-value marine tropical finfish that could be farmed, the Florida Pompano. Trachinotus blochi is one of the topmost mainly owing to its fast growth rate, good meat quality and high market demand. The market availability of Florida Pompano is rather scarce and irregular, so the growing demand can be met only through aquaculture. Among the microbial diseases, Febrosis is a bacterial disease causing significant losses of fish in farm. Febriosis results in severe skin, muscles, fin eye, and internal organ damage of fish. Disease caused by protozoan and metazoan ectoparasites can cause severe health issues 
in juveniles and adult pompano. So that's all of my documentary video and thank you for watching and God bless all. Bye.